good afternoon, YouTube world. <laughs> Some food or actually eat out it's my fourth day <laughs> it's my fourth day I have started the military diet I think it's way too late to start a vlog because it's already 5 30 p.m. but Ralph and I are heading out we're going to BJ's this is where we're gonna have our dinner I think it's just like a consolation prize for the three day straight strict diet that I've been having I'm just waiting for Ralph he's just nebulizing preemptive nebulization because he might have an asthma attack because of the smoke there in BJ's speaking of smoke we still have not gone to Kanto we still have not vlogged it because it was way too smoky when we went there before. I still have to check it out if the, it's still the case so that we could cover. I think that's the only establishment that has opened that we haven't vlogged. Okay, so it's Saturday night or Saturday afternoon and uh, BJ's is not actually, it's not full which is surprising. If you can see at the back, there's still a lot of empty seats. Well, that's reserved over there. That's really part of our order. Yeah. I actually like this. There's not a lot of people where, you know, who can gossip about you when they see you. guys it is a really good sunshiny day and for a change I'm here outside in the living room not the usual room background because Ralph is still sleeping and I went out to check on my rainbow lorry's egg for you who don't know he they did lay egg last January 5, a day before my birthday. They incubate 25 days and today is the 20th, 25th so they the egg should be breaking by today but when I open to check it it's still very much an egg. So I'm not sure if it's bad. They have laid a lot of bad eggs in the past so I, I'm not surprised if this one is like the rest of them. Also, I changed the cage of my lovebirds. I don't always cover my lovebirds in the vlog because they hardly do anything. They used to be housed in a really small cage because of course they're just lovebirds. They're not parrots that are big. So I gave them the biggest cage and put their nesting box inside that cage. Right now, we are, they are inside the nesting box, but they've really been very active. They kept swinging in the swings yesterday. I put two swings. They're inside that box, by the way. Someone has told me that I just speak English in my vlog and that I don't speak Tagalog. Of course, I know how to speak Tagalog. Marunong po ako mag-Tagalog. Tagalog is our national language. It's just that, you know, I'm married to a foreigner and he always watches my vlog. I don't know, he just wants me to speak English. Besides, I think everyone who watches my vlog knows how to speak and understand English. So, just to be safe. 
But, I do know how to speak Tagalog. My dialect is Ilonggo because I'm from Negros Occidental. Good afternoon, guys. While Ralph is having his nebulization, I'm just here listening to his YouTube playlist, which plays a lot of my favorite song. Anyway, as I speak, Judy of It's Judy's Life is currently in SM Aura in Manila doing their meet and greet. They did a live stream earlier on Facebook and God, I'm so jealous. Everyone is there. There's so many people who's taking photos with them. Right now, I wish we're in Manila. We are now going to Chris's Sports Bar and Grill. Ralph wanted me to capture Plaza, but there's nothing to show, really. Just a 7-Eleven. <laughs> Almost Mercury. The almost open Mercury. City guard, quickly be a city. <laughs> it will never be a city though. It will as soon as as soon as there's a jolly bee. <laughs> <laughs> right? Is that your definition of a city? Has a jolly bee? No. <laughs> well, Hong Kong's big. Do they consider that a city? Yeah, Kabangalan is big. They consider it a city though. It is, yeah. Kabangalan is city. Oh, so the is probably pretty close to the other city. Yeah, it says open. But that's not working. So we're here now. Okay, so we're having dinner here. They actually also have new menus. They now put the label not available. Yeah, I think that's that's just how they should handle it. If the foods are not available, they should just let the customers know. I think Ralph, if he is gonna be okay later, he's gonna be staying for... Until you can't walk. <laughs> we'll just stay until Dia can't walk so we have some good vlog material of her dancing on the tables. <laughs> no one's gonna do that. So what are you doing? Look at this. It's like I'm about to drink from a light bulb. I don't know. Well, this coffee is very good. You try the coffee. They're iced coffee. Look at this. So now we know what the light bulb things are. They're actually good. We all taste that. Good? Yeah. Kind of sour. It's good. But I'm not a big. So what is that? Mango? As usual, I'm checking in on Facebook that we're here. This is actually really good. When she first showed us the menu, we were like, okay, we're gonna have this, we're gonna have that, or we're gonna have this other thing. But then the moment she mentioned Cordon Bleu, okay, forget everything, we're just getting Cordon Bleu. <laughs> Well, that wasn't on the menu. Yeah, apparently they don't put everything in the menu. Maybe some are not available, but then they can always just put the label not available. There are others that they where they did it, but no, I'm... You know what the restaurants don't normally do is they have like a chalkboard where they have their specials and things that they don't always have. So I'm gonna pause for now while I eat, and then I'm gonna continue vlogging later. While Ralph was eating, he really said that this is the best cordon bleu he has ever dated. We're not just saying that. What do you think? Have you had better yeah. cordon bleu? The sauce is really, really good. And they also gave us the soup of the tinolang manok. Although we had tinolang manok back home right now. They gave us another complimentary um, dessert. And that is their fruit salad. 
How is it? Thank you, Chris Sports Bar and Grill, for always taking care of us. So R Ralph had two shots of White Castle, just plain White Castle. He did not mix any sodas. I'm kind of feeling guilty because I'm still supposed to watch what I'm stuffing in my mouth. I'm way beyond the calorie limit that I'm supposed to have for today. So that's it. I'm just waiting for Ray. We just asked for the bill. Probably next week we're gonna be here. Actually, Ralph is planning to have his 40th birthday. <laughs> Look at him when I mentioned 40th. <laughs> we're gonna have his 40th birthday here. The grand opening, I think, is around March 30th, but his birthday is on the 5th. So everything should be fully furnished by then. So I'm actually kind of excited. So yeah. Confirmed they're gonna have like pool table. I'm not sure about the dark though, but it's really gonna be a real sports bar Okay, I'm gonna call it a day by the way Mercury drugstore is going to be opening tomorrow and Hopefully we will be allowed to cover that. Do you think we will be allowed to vlog inside? Yeah, probably outside. I hope they will allow still. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like our video, please don't forget to give it a thumb up and please subscribe to our channel. Bye!